Hey, this is Lynch from Chaotic Neutral Podcast with another Destiny patch notes video. This one will be for the Destiny hotfix of 1-12-2015. Alright, so the Dark Below infused Destiny with new content along with some new issues that we have sought to correct. With this update, we're paying special attention to the Crota's End Raid, along with weapons, arenas, and rewards for other activities. Iron Banner is now is also being prepared to return. The activity rewards fixed an issue with Ascendant Materials no longer being a possible reward for daily gold tier public events. In addition to other potential rewards, weekly Nightfall Strikes can now award 9 more Strange Coins. On to PvP. Maps. Added to the rotation for Control, Clash, and Iron Banner playlists, The Anomaly, Asylum, and the Burning Shrine. For the Iron Banner, it will start at 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday, January 13th. Playlist weapon drops will be a level 32 sniper rifle and a level 32 auto rifle. Gain event standings to earn legendary gear, level 32 hand cannon, level 32 rocket launcher, level 32 gauntlets, and a level 31 chest. Weapons. On the sniper rifle, Black Hammer, the Hivebreaker upgrade has been disabled until it's fixed to play nicely with the White Nail upgrade. Um, not entirely sure what the White Nail upgrade is, um, or how it conflicts with the uh, Hivebreaker. Haven't I have not gotten a Black Hammer yet? So uh, if you're interested, have a Black Hammer and want to look that up. I will try and find a link for that. Onto the raids. Vault of Glass, the exotic weapon drops, though still very infrequent, are now level 32. For Crota's End, rewards. Treasure chests now contain radiant materials. The existing pit treasure chest reward has moved to killing Iryut, the Death Singer. Pit Encounter, pillars of light no longer launch players into the air when they explode. Bridge Encounter. Players will now be required to cross the bridge in order to complete the bridge encounter. Players will now be required to wait for the bridge to be completed prior to crossing with the sword. So they're taking away the cheese move of uh, uh, Sunsinger Revive to uh, snipe across the bridge without actually having to do the encounter. For the Deathsinger encounter, Fixed a rare case where the Shriekers would not spawn, preventing players from reaching the Death Singer. The Death Singer now has a chance to drop exotic weapons and armor, class pieces, and radiant materials. For the Crota encounter, two sword bearers will no longer spawn at the same time at the outset of the encounter. Crota will now recover from his kneeling state after a player quits. Fixed a bug that allowed players to remove the presence of Crota using radiant. Radiance Warlock Fireborn ability. Fix the bug that made the Oversoul appear destroyed to some players in a fire team when it was actually still active. So the big fixes for this uh, hot patch are fixing the uh, cheese uh, moves in the raid. Uh, we'll probably see some new cheese happen fairly soon once people start figuring out how to uh, game the system again. But until then, uh, it's going to be... We, you're going to have to do it the real way. This machine. So sorry this about that, I guess. Let me analyze it. Um, but that's it for the hot patch for 1-12-2015. This has been Lynch. I'll see you in orbit.